Hey everyone, Tofu here, and welcome back to more Banjo 2 E. I don't know why I keep saying that very strangely, but I do. Uh, last time, we made a bit more progress in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. We got Talon Torpedo. I don't actually know if we got that. Yeah, I think we got that last time. I can't remember. But uh, we used Talon Torpedo to finally open up this mysterious area down here in the water. Uh, so let's go check that out, and then probably finish this level today. I don't really see how we wouldn't, because we don't have that much to do left. Uh, but we will see. Uh, here we are inside the UFO, and these guys have a bit of a problem with their spaceship, which, I mean, obviously they have a problem with it. They crashed it underwater. Uh, yeah, so they need to phone home. No. References are great, aren't they? Uh, yeah. So their stuff is powered by crystallized ice, but I guess they don't have any more of that, so we have to use our own ice to actually power their spaceship again. Thankfully, we have ice in the form of eggs, so we've got to shoot eggs into those little holes there. And this is on a timer for some reason, which I don't quite understand, but I guess it just add a bit of challenge. Okay, that counted... Uh, Reddick will be my friend today. We just have one more left. Don't mess that up. Is that a good... Nope, that's not good. Okay. Yeah, it's actually kind of easy to mess that up, because it's easy to mess anything up with the reticle. Uh, but we did it, and no, I did not want to fire another one. But these guys are all happy now, so now, uh, let's just leave and never come back. Because why would we? I don't know. Those, uh, those aliens, I don't know why they're here. They just kind of show up in the water level. And, yeah, sure. Makes sense. Makes thematic sense for the water level of this game to just have aliens show up randomly. But now they're going out of that hole, which seems to fit their spaceship perfectly. I wonder if they actually formed that crater. I don't know. No, it looks like it kind of goes down a bit naturally. So I guess it's just, just a coincidence that they, their ship happens to fit that hole perfectly. But speaking of holes, there is a jiggy left behind uh, in that hole that their ship was covering. So we can now get that. Uh, okay, now let us go back to the main central hub of the level. Or at least the underwater version. Because I would say the actual central hub is, I guess, the town. But, uh, we have to hit this guy again. If he will cooperate with me, hello? There we go, jeez. Alright, get out of first person. Because that's a little obnoxious. But we want to go back to the Atlantis area. Because there is a pathway here that we didn't uh, actually explore. I mean, there's technically two, but one of them leads to a place that we've already gone to. So this path uh, off to the left here, that I think leads to... Uh, where does that lead, actually? It leads to either like the pirate ship or like the locker room area. One of those things. Uh, so we don't actually need to go there. But this area right here uh, is a place we have not gone to yet. Uh, so let's actually go over there. And we will find... Well, someone we haven't actually seen yet in this level, so... It's pretty much the last actual place we have to go to in this level. Uh, also, there's a fish there, but I think they just have eggs, so... I don't think we've got to worry about them. Did I get the... I know I got the Jiggy. I'm pretty sure I got the Cheeto Page. I can't remember if I got the Honeycomb or not. Whoa. Banjo just, like, clipped right through the door. Well, not even the door, just, like, the wall of it. But we've got Wumba here, of course, because uh, we have not seen her yet. Um, can I give you my Globo? It's weird because you have to press B to talk to them. But you also have to like press B to dive in the water, so sometimes they get confused when you have to do both at the same time. Uh, but and then we also have to like swim downward into the actual pool itself, which is kind of weird. But the transformation in this stage is a submarine, which is... Uh, a pretty cute one. It's honestly probably the most 
useless transformation. I mean, I don't have like a direct tally of how useful all the transformations are in my head, but technically you only really need this guy for one thing, uh, which is a bit strange. Um, we're going to use it for two things, but it is like the second thing is optional. You don't have to use this guy for that. Uh, and I will explain that when we get there. But for now, let's actually take this guy uh, and warp. Actually, you know what? Let me actually go to that tunnel. Because now I don't remember where this leads because I never actually use it. Uh, I really want to say it goes to the pirate ship. Like, but I don't think that's right. Oh, God. Well, there's a tentacle monster over here, so I don't actually know if this guy can get through it. Uh, this guy can shoot grenades. Or I guess rocket launcher missile things. I don't know, whatever you want to call it uh, in first person. And it can also use a sonar. Oh, that freezes the guy. That's right. Okay, I did know that. I did rem remember that, but I... Well, I didn't remember that. I knew that. I forgot it. Uh, yes, this does lead to the pirate ship. Uh, so... Well, I was going to just take the tunnel there. Because it does lead to the locker area as well, but... There's no sense in wasting any more time. Might as well just warp there. Because there is a warp pad up here. Wait, we're not quite on the warp pad there. Yeah, you can you can use the warp pad as the submarine. You just cannot warp to the land because submarines don't work too well on land, as Jam Jar says. So that makes sense. I mean, you can like swim up to the surface if you so wanted to, but you couldn't actually get out. Uh, so we've got a few things to do. Well, just like two things actually, but we've got two things to do in this area. The submarine only does anything in this locker room here, so that's all you really got to worry about. This one hole down here, I guess Grunty is speaking to us telepathically again, because uh, I guess she has a mini game for us down here, in which we've got to shoot all of these mines, or shrapnels as their official name is. I don't know if they're actually referred to that in this game as, as that, but uh, this is an enemy from Banjo-Kazooie. Like, the first game that appeared in uh, Treasure Trove Cove, Grunty's Lair, and I think that's it. Um, I want to say Rescue Bucket Bay, but I don't think they actually were there. Um, as in, this is their only appearance in this game. There's not really, like, a ton of recycled enemies from the first game, if at all. Uh, but this is one of the few that actually made a little comeback here, so that's cool. Cool? Cute and cool at the same time. Which I don't know why I said cute, because these guys are not really the cutest little guys. They're, they're really not, but, uh, I mean, I'm happy to see them. Ow. Uh, but yeah, if you could not tell, this is another red, green, and blue mini game. So we just gotta shoot a bunch of these guys and get, uh, preferably as many blue ones as we can because they, of course, give three points. If you forgot, red is one, green is two, blue is three. Uh, I don't remember how many we actually needed for this, but it's really not hard. That was not enough, apparently. 53. Okay. I guess we need 60. Well, that's embarrassing. But, it's really not that hard. So now that I'm not worrying about trying to explain what a shrapnel is, uh, I should probably get this pretty easily now. Or maybe not, because I'm still trying to commentate, so it doesn't really change anything. Uh, stop going for red ones. I keep doing that. I think, like, I was just trying to, like, mindlessly shoot as I was trying to explain things, and I just ended up hitting a bunch of red ones. But I don't know, maybe I was just bad. Oh, there's a lot of blue ones over here. Let's get them. Okay, yeah, we're doing much better this time. We're almost back to our old score, and now we have, like, 20 seconds left. Can I hit that blue one? Jeez. Oh, there's a lot of blue ones. Can you get that? Please? Okay, we got 60. I think that's what we needed. Can I get 69? Oh, I just need to shoot this guy. God damn it, I got the red one. Can I get, like, a green one? Get that guy. Okay, I got 69. That should be enough. Okay. Imagine if it was 70. I was just purposefully got off by one. That would have been tragic. Oh, wow, the Jiggy is right behind me. That's helpful. Uh, cause like sometimes locating this jiggy in this room is hard cause you actually have to swim and go get it yourself. And everything in this room kind of looks the same. So it usually takes me a while to actually try to find it. 
But luckily I saw myself in the cutscene where it spawned, so... Oh shit, I didn't want to play again. I don't want to play again! Can I just leave? Let's find out. Oh, I can. Well, that's... that's quite nice. I'm glad they programmed that. Yeah, I, I did not want to play that again. Uh... Anyways. That was the only thing we actually technically needed to do with the uh, submarine. But... Now, we can also... Hit ourselves. But also open this locker. And you could have done that with a grenade egg and gone inside as Banjo and Kazooie. But, uh, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're, like, actually looking for a challenge. Um, it's, even still, it's not that challenging, but it's just an option you can do. And as you can tell by the music and the text on screen, this is the boss for this world. We once again, I don't know, once again, once again saved for the end because, uh, we did that with Mr. Patch. And that was it so far, but it's just kind of convenient to do this last, in my opinion. And it's cool to do it last because I like doing bosses last because it makes it feel a bit more climactic. Uh, but yeah, you can do this boss as either the submarine or Banjo and Kazooie and just shoot the guy with grenade eggs. Uh, I would say it's better to do it with the submarine because the submarine has infinite ammo, as uh, whereas Banjo and Kazooie, of course, have a limited amount of grenade eggs. And of course there are grenade eggs like on the bottom here that you can use to recover. Uh, but not having to worry about that is pretty nice. I don't think the sonar actually does anything to this guy. I think it's just something you can use if you need to, but uh, it's not really helpful here at all. And uh, I'm not really in a good spot right now. We have to shoot the glowing boils on his skin. There's only one of at a time, so you have to shoot a specific spot. I'm trying to get this one, but I keep missing it. Come on. Oh god, he keeps moving. Yeah. This is, I'd say, one of the tougher bosses in the game. Uh, oh jeez. Wow, I am astonishingly low on health. I probably should have checked that before I came in here. Because I don't think I've taken a ton of damage from this guy. Uh, like, that can't be all from this guy. I probably have taken damage before that, and I just didn't bother healing it because I'm cocky. Can I please hit this guy? Oh my god, that took way too long to get, get just one hit. Yeah, your boils. Uh, where's the other glowing one? I don't think I saw it on that side. Also, I should probably get a honeycomb. I think there's only one honeycomb here to use. To heal yourself with. Uh, so that's bad and annoying. Also, it's kind of dark in here. It's kind of difficult to see sometimes. So that's bad. Yeah, I think this is the only honeycomb they actually give you to heal yourself with. Uh, so we've got four hits to last this fight with. Uh, okay, yeah, the glowy side is on the left side. Get out of first person. It can be difficult to actually avoid the little lightning, or I guess, I don't know, just light that he sends at you. Whatever that attack is, when you're in first person, because it's more difficult to see coming. We got pretty lucky with that placement there, because two spawned on the same side, right, uh, one after the other, so that was pretty easy to deal with, and we got pretty lucky with the shots, too, so I'm definitely happy about that. Let's try to avoid his attacks here, and get to the other side of him, because that is where the oil should be. Yeah, there it is. Can I hit that? Nope. It's tough because he, like, bobs up and down. Okay, I got that one. Uh, it looks like it's going to be on this side again. Let's get back over there. Okay, he's turning. He's turning. Let's get out. Get out. This is actually really intense because I don't have much health left. And this is only the first phase of the fight, so... I've still got a bit of surviving to do. Okay, there it is. Get that. No. Don't get hit by the fin. Just please... Oh my god. Also, this guy's name is Lord Wu Fak Fak, and I don't think I mentioned that. That's very funny. Uh... Oh god. Yeah, I probably shouldn't try to explain anything because we all know how that will go. Okay. Where is this guy facing right now? Okay, that's a good shot. No, it's not. That was, aw that was awful. Please stop turning! Oh my god. Well, this is not good. 
please. Okay, no, no, he's still going. He's still going. He's still going. I thought he stopped. He did not stop. Don't hit that. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. There we go. That's perfect. That's not perfect. That's the second time this has happened. Please just hit that. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So, I don't actually know if the homing cheat applies to the submarine's missiles or not. Uh, I don't know if that's the case because, I mean, they're not eggs. We're not shooting eggs. Okay, got in there. So I don't think it actually applies. But another thing I'm not sure if it applies to or not is these if these boils actually count as, like, enemies or not. Because they're not really enemies. Like, Wu Fak Fak is the enemy, not the boils. Um, so I don't know if it's, like... I don't know if they, if, if you did come in here as Banjo and Kazooie, I don't know if your eggs would actually lock onto the boils or not. I cannot remember if that's the case or not. But we finally got all the boils. And now it's time for phase two. This guy's gonna open his eyes. Because I guess he was blind. But he just opened his eyes and now he can see again. So, I guess that's how that works. I didn't know that's how that works. Thanks, Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, so... This is the part where I would advise you to just kind of stand in front of him and shoot him mindlessly. Because you have to shoot him in the face. So you're kind of better off just, like, standing still. Well, as best as you can stand in the water. But, you know, just, like, staying still and just relentlessly spamming his eyes until you actually hit him a bunch of times. Uh, and just, like, tank as much damage as you can before you just die. Like that. Uh... Because, like, I don't know. Normally, oh god, yeah, I should not do that strategy because it's not working too well. Uh, yeah, normally you can just kind of just tank as many hits as you can, and you'll be fine. Uh, and you'll pretty much have enough to just kind of beat him. But I don't have that kind of health right now, so this is, oh god, no, 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 no. Yeah, you have to move, like, immediately. Like, as soon as he fires off an attack, you've got to book it, because it hones in on you pretty quickly. Oh, God. I do not know if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this now. I think he's going to do two attacks at a time. Oh, my God. He's so close. Oh, God. He turned around. That's awful. That was my chance. Okay, I'm just going to, like, circle around him again until he... God, this camera angle is awful. Why is he making that noise? I'm just gonna keep moving until he attacks again. As long as I'm moving, he can't hit me. Okay. Now I should be able to hit him. Fire at his eyes. That's not what I wanted to do! Ah, oh God, I don't think I can hit him from here. God, stop fucking turning! Okay, I got him. I got him once. Okay, move, 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 move. He's gonna fire again. Fire again. Why do you only fire once? I don't like that. I don't like that he only fired once. Okay, are you gonna? I'm just gonna wait until he fires again. Okay, that's one. You're gonna fire twice. Okay, fire twice. Okay, buddy. Okay. Uh. Okay. God damn it! He turned around. That's a really bad position to be in right now. Okay. I need to, like, shoot. Fuck! He's going... Oh, I hit him! I hit him! Okay, I don't think he was actually attacking me there. But it was very close. Ah, oh, God, I just keep circling around because I'm too nervous to actually go... Jesus, that's close. Okay, okay, this is my chance. This is my chance. Go, 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 hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Go! Oh, okay, okay. That didn't actually hit me. That didn't actually hit me. I didn't take damage from that. Oh my god. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Wait till he attacks. Go. Oh. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Okay. Now is my time. Hit him in the eyes. Hit him in the... Fuck you. Stop turning. I hate this guy. Please. No. Jesus Christ. I think if you hit his body, you take damage. But if you just hit his fins, you're good. Ah! Oh, I thought he'd like bit me for a second. I thought I took damage from his teeth because I'm pretty sure you can do that. Uh, 
Now, I have a question. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm pretty sure I was, like, on top of him when he died. So I think I'm, like, in his body right now. Okay. I think they changed your position automatically. I thought I was gonna, like, spawn in him and take damage and die immediately. Oh my god, that was intense as hell. What the actual f fuck? I don't know why I'm censoring myself, because I've said fuck in this playthrough before. But it was just, it was a funny pun, because, you know, it's it's Lord Wu fack fack. It was the perfect opportunity. Holy fucking shit, that was intense. Just like camping. Uh, okay. I think that is actually everything in Jolly Rogers Lagoon that we can get now. Do not hit that fish right now. Um, and now there's actually quite a lot we still have to get here, but we just are unable to get it right now at this very moment. Um, and I believe if memory serves, we should be able to get 7 out of 10 jiggies here. And we should have been able to get everything else. So let's check our totals and see if that's right. That looks right to me. There are still three Jiggies that we are unable to get uh, right now. One is the one with Tip Top because we still are unable to help him right now. Can I break this with that? No, but I could probably use grenades, right? Actually, I had a thought that I was like, if I shoot the grenade from there, like I'm going to hit myself and die <laughs> before I can even get a honeycomb. But honestly, I think dying is actually going to be fine right now because that'll just respawn me. Uh, probably back at Humba's, right? So I can transform back. So that should be good. So let's just fire a grenade against the wall and blow ourselves up. And this should put me back at Humba Wumba's. Yes, that is exactly where we want to be. But uh, yeah, the other chickies we have to get here. Uh, one is tipped up, but we can't help him yet. The other ones, uh, one is the piggies. Uh, I can't remember if I explained the problem with that still. But even though the water is clear now and no longer polluted, uh, the water is now too cold or too hot or something. One of those things. Uh, and we've got to do a lot to actually do that, but uh, that won't be for a while. And the last Jiggy, I can't remember if I actually showed this or not. Uh, but there's an area that we have gone to uh, that has a Jiggy in it that we, we technically can get it now. And maybe I'll give it one attempt. Uh... But, uh, it's better to just save it for later when you're actually supposed to get it, because the the trick to getting it early is a bit precise to actually pull off, so... I'll, I'll give it a few tries, maybe just one or two, but, uh, if I can't get it, I have no problem with just saving that for later. Uh, so, the Jiggy that we have to get still, or one of the Jiggies that we have to get still that we can theoretically obtain right now is down in this area again um you may have noticed it when i came down here before but i don't think i actually called attention to it uh it's this jiggy uh, all the way ac across there which we will need a very future a very future uh, a much later ability to actually get that uh the intended way um but there is technically a way to do it and i can't quite remember the order of operations here of what exactly you're supposed to do but i believe you have to go one split up uh switch to kazooie uh get the turbo trainers inside of blubber's uh wave racer uh shop uh so you build up enough speed with her to get a good running jump across that gap and you have to then feathery flap and then wing whack across to get enough distance to actually make the jump but what's tricky about it is I don't think you can feathery flap after or while you're in a jump from the turbo trainers. So you have to like cancel the the turbo trainers with B like as soon as you hit the ledge of that that ledge, the ledge of that ledge. But, like, yeah, you have to press B like right at the edge of it um, and then also jump right after it, too. So you still like have the speed from the turbo trainers but you are like not in the turbo trainers anymore so you can still actually do the proper jump for uh with the feathery flap and that's quite difficult and i don't think i've actually ever done this before it's very tricky i didn't even jump okay yep that's not gonna work 
That is very tough. I'll give it one more attempt. Maybe three. Maybe four. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, nope. Just not enough. I know you can do it, though. I know you can do that. Uh, but I think I jumped too early. God damn it, I did not even jump. God, I fucking love doing that. Okay, this is my last attempt, no matter what. I don't think that's it. No way. Yep, I jumped way too early. Oh well. We'll come back and get it later, because we're gonna have to come back here, uh, anyway, because we still have a ton more stuff to get. But yeah, uh, that's it for Jolly Rogers Lagoon right now, so we can probably just go ahead and get the heck out of here and end this episode, and, uh, yeah, we should probably get Banjo. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We'll get you, I promise, even though I love playing as Kazooie. But, uh, yeah. That is, uh, that's everything for Jolly Rogers Lagoon, uh, so we can go ahead and leave this place for now, and end the episode, because it's about that time to do that. Uh, so, next time, oh my god, I almost just fell off and died, next time on Banjo-Tooie, we are going to go to a brand new world, and also do some stuff in the Isla Hags, because we have some stuff to do right now, so... That is very cool and very exciting. So, I will see you guys then. Bye-bye!